All right, so if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we are asking if the hashtag Occupy Lekki Tollgate is the solution to finding a new Nigeria. Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. Our phone lines are open. It will be displayed on the screen. So, Lami, before we, um, because we've, we've dwelt really well on this um, hashtag, Occupy the Lekki Tollgate, you know, um, um, the hashtag. Now, this hashtag defend Lagos. Is it even right for us to start having people, you know, because people, are, um, some quarters have argued that it is politicians that are sponsoring this hashtag defend Lagos. And it's almost like the way they sent thugs, in quotes, to disrupt peaceful protesters, that is exactly what they are going to do. And we have a video, I don't know if they can pull out that video quickly, where we found, you know, a young boy, you know, he was so instructive telling these young um, boys that before you allow yourself to be used as thugs know that most of these politicians their children are abroad they are safe somewhere and you they would call you when it's time to go and disrupt things you would come but when they are doing their birthdays or they are having some celebrations they never call you to those kind of events so he was kind of like reading like a riot act to the young people do not allow yourselves to be used as um uh, what's it called thugs in the name of defend your lagos right so do you even think this defend hashtag defend lagos is even right to even come up in the first place when people's agitations are actually genuine are you so can i come in? yeah come in lami who oh, are is everybody's constitutional right to dissent hmm. everybody doesn't have to be on the same page mm -hmm. if you're if who oh, i don't know because uh maybe you've forgotten what was the very what happened in lagos on the 20th uh, stroke 21st of october last year it's still very fresh and very scary. Mm -hmm. So I think for some people, it's within their rights to rise up to say no, because there's another channel. In as much as I support the fact that they shouldn't reopen at the moment, but the truth is, if there's an issue, you can appeal it. It's a decision of the panel that is appealable. It can go up right up to the High Court, go up to the Court of Appeal, and go up to the Supreme Court. So why can't we take that channel? instead of disrupting, disrupting economic and social activities. Mm -hmm. So it's in their constitutional right to dissent. So I don't see why if they, if they are also uh, genuine protesters. And well, is that not what, that also have their concerns. Is that not what would spark up some kind of conflict? Let me come to Tammy, because why I'm saying this is like, okay, it's like we have drawn the battle line. So if you come out, we too will come and defend. Is that not what will spark up the conflict, if at all, conflict would, would even erupt? Because when the protest even happened in the first place, it was a peaceful protest up until when these so-called defenders of Lagos came up, you know, to say, you know what, well, get off the streets, right? So don't you think this is where the real conflict is, you know, sponsoring something like this? Hmm. Come to um, ooh, so I, I saw the video as well. But I think that video had already come up. Um, I, I don't think it was with respect to Defend Lagos, also the, although the message is still valid, but it's not with respect to this current hashtag. The video came up some time ago, you know, when the hoodlums were vandalizing places, you know, during the protest. That was when that particular video came up. And um, I just want to say that the, the place that, um, the place that I'm a little um, not clear is with respect to when they say defend Lagos, and I, I'm thinking to myself, defend Lagos from whom now? Is it defend Lagos from the unharmed protesters? Is it defend Lagos from any hoodlum that comes to... Because what, what I see here is, okay, people are protesting peacefully, right? And then there's another group of people who want to sabotage them, who want to, you know, just come and... The hoodlums who, you know, destroy the other places then maybe there's now a third group of people who are saying we don't want destruction in lagos we don't want you to we want the protest to be you know peaceful what i see is that those people should be working together with the people who are saying that we want to you know occupy lagos um lucky target i see that they should be working together actually to ensure that no third party who is against your interest comes to you know destroy what you you've been doing because you mean well what you're coming for is a peaceful protest but instead i hear defend lagos and from the sound of it it seems like defending lagos from the protest 
that and it's not even taken into consideration whether they are armed or unarmed right and, and that that i see is a challenge and at this point um I see that a city divided against itself will not, will not stand. stand. Truthfully, okay, absolutely. You know, so, um, All right, so let us move yeah, away that, from both um, protests. Um, um, I want to ask, is there a practical solution to finding justice outside of protest? If there is, what exactly should we be looking at? I suppose uh, playing the card of this, because... I can only see this end in a violent situation again. I do not see something good coming out of this. So if there's a creative way and the young people that are behind this hashtag Occupy Lekki Tollgate are watching us right now, what would be a creative way for us to, you know what, say this is a better solution for us to handle this injustice? Let me come to um, Lamy. Oh, I said it earlier. The only way I see it in the first place, I don't think the protest is the most um, creative way to go about it. Mm -hmm. This is a decision of a judicial inquiry panel, which is appealable. So I've exhausted that first before mm -hmm. going back to the streets. Mm -hmm. And Nigerians, are, at the moment, there's tension. We are not a structured environment. We are not a structured society. Mm -hmm. In America, in the UK, I know that when they are protest, you see the police come out to to um what's it called to defend to guard the, the protesters. protesters. Yes, but in Nigeria, it's the opposite. It's even the police that will start beating and all that, and they'll ensure that violence will ensue. Mm. So I would say that disrupting economic and social activities on Saturday will not get us anywhere. And part of the reason I think that people want to occupy the left of it, to be very candid with ourselves, part of the reason is economic reason. Oh, when I was driving, I don't live in that access, but the few times I've driven there without having to pay, I was so, so happy, and I did not pray that it should ever come back. Another thing that they are suffering from is identity crisis. Mm. A lot of people have identified the Lekki Concession Company with a particular political figure in Nigeria, in Lagos particularly. Mm -hmm. So they have not. So whether it the, the the company belongs to that person or not, hmm. people already the people's vision and absolutely already colored about that company. Okay, Do so you understand and so, the role that they allegedly took during this um the okay. disaster that happened. Okay, so, so it's it's more of a moral obligation, a moral burden on them. Hmm. So to be very honest. I think the reasons are the identity and the economic reasons. Okay, let me take a call from Richard. He's called in from Lagos. Hello, Richard, are you there? Good evening. Thank yeah, you for good joining evening, guys. Thank you for joining us. Let's hear what you have mm -hmm. to say. Yeah, lovely discussion, man. Thank you. Just like I said two weeks ago when I called this program, what, what happened on the 20th of October, what happened in October in Lagos eh, and Pan Nigeria? Eh? The young people made a statement to this government. And that is why when the government saw the way it was going, they had to do something to quit it down by infiltrating the protesters with their so-called hoodlums. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. Eh? That planned protest for well, this, this Saturday that's coming, the Occupy Lake Ito game, they will never let it happen again. That is why you have that council team they're talking about to protect your Lagos, that's Asha, whatever. They will never let it happen again. I think what the young people should do is, instead of that going out to gather at the toll gates, they should sit down and strategize on how to hit this, this our so-called elite, that when they hit them, eh, they can, they, before they recover from me, eh, 2023 is over. Hmm. That's the only thing. This gathering, they will infiltrate them, they will, they will, they will cause mayhem, they will now unleash the army and the police on them. So no need. No, don't go there. There's don't, no point. Let's go there. Lagos our Lagos. Let's go there. Yeah. yeah. But thank let's you so do much. something else. Strategize. Strategize, yeah, thank guys. Thank you so much, Thank Richard. you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. All, All right. right. So let's take some comments. Tammy, you have some comments with you. Lami, you have some comments with you. Quickly, um, let's take some comments. Okay. Or should I go ahead, Lami? Political class keep dividing us <laughs> along religious and ethnic lines. Wake up, Nigeria. We have more in common and need each other. That's Kemi from Bagada. Um, Temi, go ahead with your comments. There's a comment from Angela saying, I agree we should have 
we should have the toll gate still not operational to conclude the investigation. But this is Nigeria, where money is more important than human life. That is a comment from Angela. Another okay. comment um, from Tell me, hold on. Let me take a call. I don't think Temi. of the lucky. Temi, hold on. Um, Frederick has called in. Thank you so much for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Can you turn down the volume of your television set, please? Thank you so much for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Can you turn down the volume of your television set? Winner. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to find out from a discussion there about who gave the order that the toge should be open. Was it initially before the judicial panel? Or just a thing that just came up and said the gate should be opened. Initially, we are quite aware that the other one was a policy statement made by CBN to the, to froze to frozen all the account of uh, the participants. It was, it was a policy statement. Is this closing of the toll gate closing of the toll gate not a policy statement? Was it made by the panel? All right, That's thank you so much. Thank you, Frederick, for your question. I will try to understand your question, but let me take more comments. Um, uh, Raymond from Abuja says, I must say the NSAS movement just moved a needle. A better strategy must be adopted. Um, um, Temi, maybe you conclude on your comments before I come to Lamy. Okay. Um, so this comment from Eric says, I don't think that occupying the toll gate is the right action. We have to be realistic. Let us get involved in politics from grassroots to start experiencing real changes. I'm hoping I'll have the opportunity to make a last comment. All right, so we have Dr. Michael calling from Washington, D.C. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say. Dr. Michael, are you there? I'm still here. Thank you for calling. Let's hear what you have to say quickly, please. Uh, well, actually, this is my first time of uh, calling, in and uh, I'm just glad to hear this. Um, this, you know, what you are saying about this topic. Thank but you. I think the lake gate should, should be. Yes, I'm here. The lake should be opened. Okay. The lake should be opened. I think the people, the people already, they already make their points known, and the, I know the government is in. Uh, uh, they are trying to fix what they, whatever the problems are. So I think they should allow normalcy to take place right now. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's all I want to say. Thank you, Dr. Michael. That's from Washington. You're calling from Washington D.C. Thank you for calling. <laughs> all right. Um. So Lamy, that question that I think. Yes, you I think it was Frederick that asked that question, the caller that said something about who ordered. Did you get that question? Who ordered the, no. the, the shutting down of the, the toll, you know? Because I was trying to understand his question. Well, initially, when it happened on the 21st of October, naturally, the, uh, the, the, the toll plaza was burnt down. Yes. So, of course, they would not return to work. Then the, uh, the, the panel of inquiry that was raised by Lagos State expanded the mandate. Originally, it was supposed to cover the abuses, human rights abuses by the SARS. So the, this Lagos State government expanded the mandate to cover it. So naturally, they will not be able to go back there mm -hmm. until there's an order from the panel for them to go back. And, yeah. I can, and I'll tell you, in as much as I am pro-occupied, you know, let it all get, I don't think going back to the streets will achieve anything Absolutely. and don't forget it's a public private partnership people's money private individuals money is also at stake some people are out of jail hmm. loans have been taken they've been shut down for four months absolutely i think they should go back and because shutting it down is not going to do anything it's not like it's still a crime scene yeah. it wasn't condoned of Okay, it's so been let me open. So yeah. there is no evidence that is emanating from that place. So we have so, so why, much why calls isn't today. It going, I don't for, I don't want it to be open for economic reasons. <laughs> let, let, Neil has <laughs> called from Abuja. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Let's hear what you have to say quickly. Thank you so much for joining us. 
why you turn down the volume of your television set? Hello, good evening. Thank you for jo joining us. Let's mm -hmm. hear what you have to say. Hello, good evening. Go ahead. Let's hear you. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm actually listening to you guys on the issue of this uh, pro uh, protest um, today. But let me be very honest. You see, uh, everybody is getting tired in this country. Hunger, anger, so many problems. So I don't know. If you want to protest, why don't you just wait? 2023 is close by. Join politics. Let them go to their grassroots. Let everybody come out. You cannot wait and say you want to keep protesting, protesting. The people that are talking. Oh, I think we lost Neil. But I think he was making a valid sense. I think everybody that has Very seen... Very valid point. Every, everybody that has seen the outcome of what happened last year will tell you that going back to that toll gate is not the solution. It's like you are just playing... The, you're just going back to, to play the same music again. It's like, you know, they say insanity is... The definition of insanity is doing the same thing repeatedly and expecting a different result it's not going to change anything right it's not going to change anything the best thing you should do is sit down and strategize and see how we can creatively find a solution we're all looking for a new nigeria everybody is tired of the crop of leaders that we have but we cannot play this same card and expect a different result so there is absolutely no point trying to go back on the street to go and sit on the street let me hear Tammy your final thoughts and Lamy your final thoughts that we can conclude on the conversation yeah, I mean, I I condemn the, or I disagree, rather, with the um, idea of reopening the Lekki toll gate in the meantime. But again, uh, you know, thinking about the effects of another protest and thinking about what happened in October last year, there are no guarantees that what happened then will not happen again, or it will become worse, or that there will be no violence. So a protest now it doesn't seem like a good idea. But, you know, on the other side, to be fair, the counter-protest also doesn't seem like a good idea. It's Nothing. definitely a bad well, idea. If there is to, no, if there know, is no occupying... Counter those who are protesting, that's yeah. more and more violent. So if there's you no know, occupy so Lekki Togate... When we say we strategize... Can, hello, Ua, can you Sorry, hear me? I said if there's no occupy Lekki Togate, there will not be the other um, um, protest. So if they just don't go on the streets, they will not have the counter-protest. But quickly, uh, Lamy, because we ran out of time. So for me, I think that um, the protest is dead on arrival. The government has also used the tactic here to infiltrate and ensure that it will not be successful. And don't forget, we do not have a listening government. It's only in a structured environment where the government would listen to you. Can you do a protest? Look at the outcome of last, uh, of last year. I don't see why we should just want to disrupt economic and social activity because of something that would not bring any result. Rather than what the last caller said, instead, I think we should sit down, strategize, and see how we can take over governance in 2023. Don't forget, we have less than two years to achieve Absolutely. This. We have Absolutely. Less, so we have limited time. So I think us... that power that we want you to go to, what's it called, to the targets, why don't you conserve it? And start thinking, it, it is not a physical takeover. It has to be mental. It has to be a mental thing. And it's, it's, we have less than two years. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lamy. Thank you so much, Tammy. We had an amazing conversation. I'm hoping that the Occupy Lekki toll gates and sponsors, they are listening. It's not, the, it's not the best option at all. So Waze was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, influence lives towards action. And this year, we're starting our CSR focus on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots for us to give to job seekers. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Waze, follow us on all our social media handles and keep um, telling your friends to keep all their eyes on Waze as this will be an all year round engagement. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. And this quote is to the government. Those who make peaceful protests, revolution impossible, will make violent revolution inevitable. So for us to please avoid violence, let us, um, let us let justice prevail. That's all we are asking for. We'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring you another great conversation. Enjoy.